welcome back to my channel where today I'm doing my weekly pull list. Today is Wednesday, new comics have come out and I thought I would quickly share with you the comics I've picked up and will hopefully be able to review in the next coming days. First off, I just want to apologise for looking like this. I've been in work all day and for some reason there's like a heat wave going on in September. It's so hot and I'm just I'm still dying. I want to go to bed. <laughs> So the first comic I picked up is Dark Souls by Titan Comics. This is priced at $3.99 and I knew a couple of my friends would get excited about this because it's three mini stories based on the world in Dark Souls. One of my friends who love Dark Souls has already read this and kind of said that it doesn't really involve any of the characters you come across in the game. Uh, he thinks maybe one has, he hasn't read all the comic yet, he's not 100% sure. Uh, but I haven't read it yet. I haven't played the game of Dark Souls either, so it'll be interesting to see what I think of it without knowing that world. Uh, I picked up Doom Patrol by DC Comics. This was also priced at $3.99 and is written by Jared Way. He did Umbrella Academy and I something else. I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, people love him. I haven't actually read Umbrella Academy, but I know a lot of people will be excited just for that fact alone with this comic. For a lot of people who watch this channel a lot, you will know that I am not massively into Marvel or DC series. It's because they're very long-winded, they're very hard to follow. If you don't read one story, it's hard to follow another. So I kind of just avoid a lot of the comics. I still buy them, but I kind of avoid reading them or talking about them because I don't want to appear stupid. But yeah, I'll hold my hands up and say that I know very, very little about the DC universe in itself anyway, because I'm more of a Marvel fan than a DC fan as it is. So I went online, like I always do with my comics, to research what they're about so I can let you know what they're about before I've even read them. And usually it's like a little paragraph explaining who's wrote it, what it's about, yada yada yada. This is what the page said for Doom Patrol. The atoms are buzzing, the daydreams crowd sentient streets and the creative team have been warned. Turn back now or suffer the mighty consequences of sheer psycho mayhem. Generations arsonists unite, this is Doom Patrol and the gods of the superheroes is bleeding on the floor. There, oh, there's more. A blenderized reimagining of the ultimate series of strange Doom Patrol combines elements from classic runs, new directions and things that could not be. Our entry point is Casey Brink, a young EMT on the graveyard shift to abstract enlightenment, with a past so odd that she's not entirely sure what is real and what is not. Along with her partner Sam Reynolds, the pair blaze a path through the city and it's Denizians, finding the only quiet that exists at 3am in the chaos of the brain. When the pair answer a hit and run call, they find themselves face to face with a familiar figure, Cliff Steele, aka Robot Man. It gets weirder from here, writer Jared Way had to say about the book. With artist Nick Darrington gripping tightly on the wheel of the ambulance, the pair's only communication, shouting out of the open windows while at high velocity. Who needs a new roommate? Who, who names a cat lotion? And when do we get to see all those muscles? Find your answers inside the pages of this comic book as we set the stage for the new beginnings as well as the reintroduction of the same classic Doom Patrol characters, including Niles Calder, Negative Man, Flex Mentallo, and Crazy Jane. The debut titles of DC Young's Animal Line kicks off with a removable sticker on its cover. Pull back the gyro to reveal its secrets. Be warned, there is no turning back. I honestly still could not tell you what it's about after reading all of that. That was the most long-winded, trying too hard explanation of a comic I've ever read. I don't know if that's because it goes hand in hand to what Doom Patrol is about, because I've never read a Doom Patrol, but I'm gonna, I, I also really wanna peel a sticker off, but I won't, yet. I also picked up Grin, which is by Dynamite Comics. This is based around the fourth series, so if you've seen the TV show and you're up to date, this would be good for you. I personally haven't seen a single issue of it, or episode should I say, so I think I'm going to struggle with this and I'm actually a bit dubious about what reading this because I actually want to watch this TV show, so I actually might not read and review this just yet. But apparently, Juliet is struggling with a lot of changes in her life which lead her to have to go to the only person she doesn't want to, her worst enemy. Ooh. I also picked up Gotham Academy's second semester. If this is issue one and priced at $3.99, is it? I don't know. It's $2.99. I just lied to you. It's $2.99. Apparently the winter 
holidays are long and boring and a new person comes along and loads of trouble happens. That's kind of it. I actually haven't read the first Umbrella Academy. I started reading the graphic novel because one of my friends told me I had to and then I got distracted by Scott Pilgrim. So I actually have the graphic novel of that. So I think I'm gonna read it tonight and then read that. I think that'd help. Also, it has to be a good comic because there was a buttload of creators. Literally like nine people made this comic. There were like three writers, two artists, then an inker, penciler and colorist. So to have three people writing a comic, it, it's gotta be a good one. I'm really excited to read Hadrian's Wall, which is obviously issue one by Image Comics and also priced at $3.99. This is about a space shuttle and called Hadrian's Wall and there's an astronaut who's been murdered and a pill popping detective has to come and investigate and interview everyone, including his ex-wife. I just love it. I love space stuff. I love sci-fi stuff. I love detective stuff. It kind of all fits for me. I'm, I'm excited to read it. It looks awesome. And I, I have a lot of faith in Image anyway. I'm very rarely let down by Image. And then last but not least is The Strain, which made me so excited because it's co-written by Guillermo del Toro and Chuck Hogan. And del Toro is one of my favorite directors in the world. So I got very excited about this. This is also issue one by Dark Horse Comics. And also $3.99. That seems to be the price for all comics these days. I'm going bankrupt. <laughs> this comic is set in the ancient Roman Empire and there are vampires that are pretty gross. They're not like the type of vampires that we think. It's like, think hentai vampires almost. I don't, I, I'm worried that that's the first thing that came to my head. One of the vampires accidentally creates another vampire and this kind of lifelong battle happens where the accident has to kill the master before the master kills the accident. But in Rome, there's a lot more that happens, but I obviously don't want to spoil it for you. I've actually already read this comic. I'm obviously going to do a more in-depth review about it. But guys, it's really good. It's so good. It's the only one I've read yet, but it's my pick of the week. <laughs> But it is genuinely really good and I am going to definitely pick up the second issue so I highly recommend you pick up this just to check it out if that seems to be your type of comic. Well thank you so much for watching my pull list this week or at least my pull list of issue ones. Someone did comment in the last video of my pull list saying did you not pick up ongoing series and I do but because I don't want to miss them I always subscribe to them and they get posted a couple of days later so I might do a video every now and again of the comics that I continue reading. Yeah. So that might be a good way of showing if I actually still like the story ongoingly. Ongoingly? It's so tired. So, uh, it's so... Oh my god. <laughs> I am tired. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for watching. Please comment below which comics you picked up. Um, I'm excited to talk about them. That's why I do these videos. Hopefully in the upcoming days, the comics that I've just mentioned will have proper reviews up and uploaded and lovely and edited and so much better than this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, stick around. If you haven't, please subscribe because I do videos every single day and I will see you soon. Bye!